Welcome back to Budapest and the Hungaro Ring. Infamous for its tight, narrow corners that force the drivers to constantly be on top form. No doubt, we're in for a great race here today. We're northeast of Budapest for the race today at the 2.7 mile Hungaro Ring circuit. 14 corners here, 8 to the right and 6 to the left, on a track where downforce is king and passing is notoriously difficult. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Perez, Lando Norris, and Fernando Alonso, Stroll, Leclerc, Sainz, and Pierre Gasly. DRS is now enabled.
Okay, gap ahead is 2.8 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. End of the race, we'll see you in Park Ferme. There'll be smiles back at the factory after that one. A great race and a real team performance to take victory here in Hungary. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams and they're certainly proving themselves. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Mick Schumacher gets my vote today. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.